can love my God with all my heart. I can love my God with all my soul. I can love my God with all my mind. I can love my God with all my strength. Love the Lord your God with all your heart. Love the Lord your God with all your heart. Love the Lord your God with all your heart. Friends, I'm Zoe, and look what I've got. 
It's animal blocks. It's like a zoo. Or maybe a circus. I love stacking these up. Do you know what this animal is? Shout it out if you know it. Yes, it's a lion. Roar with me, friends. Roar! What's this really big one? Yes, it's an elephant. Wave your trunk with me, friends. Ooh, what's this one, friends? It's an alligator. Move your arms like an alligator with me. I love playing with my animal blocks. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Zoe. Who? Who? Stacking up the animals, are you? I am, Ollie. My animal blocks are so much fun. Animals are amazing. Who? Who? I know who made all of them, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. Okay, here we go. Hola, friends. I'm Luis, the handyman. I was just getting my hammock ready. You can take the best rest in a hammock. Oh, that reminds me. There is some rest time in today's story. <laughs> but before we rest, we have a big story to finish telling. Do you want to help me build it? Ah, great. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres. Hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. But first, we need to remember a few things about our true story from the Bible about how God made everything. On day one, God made light and dark. And on day two, God made the sky above the water. Then, on day three, God made the land, plants, and sea. And on day four, God made the sun, moon, and stars. And then, on day five, God made the fish and the birds. The earth was full of so many beautiful, wonderful things. God saw everything he had made, and it was good. Say, it's good. Ready? It's good. Que bueno. But do you think God was finished yet? <laughs> no way. God made even more. On day six, God said, let the land produce every kind of animal. Oh, wow. Do you know what that means? It means God made so many different wonderful animals to live on the land. Oh, let's look at this one right here. What is this? <laughs> yes, it's a cat. They have such soft fur. Now, what does a cat say? <laughs> right. Let's all meow like a cat. Ready? Meow. Meow. <laughs> Good. Let's look at another animal God made. Oh, this one you can ride on. What is it? <laughs> it's a horse. Now, what does a horse say? <laughs> all right. Let's all meow like a horse. Ready? <laughs> God made horses. But even after making all these wonderful animals, God still was not finished. God wanted to make the very most important thing in all of creation. Hmm, do you know what it is? Oh, I think I heard someone say it. God made people. God made the very first man. His name was Adam. Everyone say, hi, Adam. 
Hi, Adam. <laughs> and God made the very first woman. Her name was Eve. Everyone say, hi, Eve. Hi, Eve. People are the most special thing God made because God made people to know him. God made every person so special. Point to your eyes. God made people with blue eyes and brown eyes and green eyes and so many different beautiful colors. Now touch your head. God made people with all kinds of hair, straight and curly and short and long and no hair at all. And God made people who are good at all kinds of different things like uh, running fast or making yummy food or telling awesome stories. Huh? <laughs> God made people. When God made people on day six, the whole world was complete. God looked at all he had made. And this time God saw that it was very good. Can you say, it's very good? Ready? It's very good. God made the whole world. And then on day seven, what do you think God did? <laughs> God rested from all his work. Let's all take a deep breath. <sighs> and look at all of the things that God made. Wow. It is very good. <laughs> now let's remember what we learned today. On day six, God made all of the land animals. And God made people. Only God can do that. God is so creative and powerful. God made everything. Then on day seven, God rested from his work. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who made everything? God made everything. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made everything? God made everything. That's the truth, friends. Now, I'm off for a rest in my hammock. <sighs> Adios. So there's your story, and it's all true. God made all the animals, and he made people too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, God made all the animals, and God made people too. That means God made me. God made everything. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. I think I'm going to go outside and enjoy all the beautiful things God made. I'll see you next time. Bye! God saw everything he had made, and it was very good. Genesis 1.31 God saw everything he had made, and it was very good. Genesis 